So I just introduced myself. <laughs> okay, okay. I have two topics, and the uh, first topic is about uh, analysis of for, uh, next generation seconds. I've been working for analyzing an energy theory, and uh, um, for <laughs> almost five years ago, I've developed uh, the, the method which is a linear time algorithm to, to find a similar, all similar pairs from a set of short trees. And, uh, okay, I, I'll skip the detail about the algorithm, but, but, but using this all, pin, all similar pair sets, we um, developed another application to find the break on, breakpoint reads uh, without using version genome. Okay, this is a uh, schematic view of rearrangement of cancer genomes, and the, our goal is to find the uh, reads, overlap the breakpoints. This is a very simple goal. <laughs> and, uh, but, but uh, the, one of the features of, of our method is not to use the reference genome, just compare the two set of reads. So, so, so we achieve this goal by using all similar, all pairs similar to such. So, you, uh, so if you, if you, okay, if you scan the all, oh, okay, find all pairs, all similar pairs and count the similar reads, and you can count the similar pattern which appears in that set of short reads. Only, okay, look at this pattern. So this pattern only appears in cancer tissues. Okay, and this pattern only appears in the, the, the normal tissues. So if you count the, the similar patterns and compare the pattern between the two sets, you can see that this unbalanced read, okay, that these patterns appears both, uh, data sets, and then this pattern only appears in the, okay, in the cancer genome. So if you compare the number of similar patterns in the, within the set, you can find that trees without seeing the reference genome. This is our idea in the published in Biomedicine in 2014. So, so and, um, uh, because I have such kind of a background, I'm now interested in the uh, reference, reference uh, graph reference genome. So, um, the next one is a very different uh, topics and uh, about the privacy preserving data mining. And uh, as you know, as you already noticed, the bio biomedical data often includes the sensitive information which should be, which should be kept in private, such as genome data and uh, okay, some medical records or sometimes a chemical compound. It's very sensitive information because uh, uh, the pharmaceutical company don't want to uh, give away the uh, uh, patents or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of this, uh, because of this problem, uh, you can see, you can often see such dilemma, such that the user don't want the server to see his query. And while that database don't want the user to download the whole database. So the, our goal is to solve this dilemma by using some um, encryption techniques. Okay, so our goal is developing a new technology to protect sensitive data for data mining. And uh, in our research, we use the uh, technique called additively homomorphic encryptions. And uh, if you use the, this additively homomorphic encryption, the, the, the user, user's query is kept encrypted. And that database can calculate such results without seeing the queries. And we have already uh, developed three applications. One is chemical compound database search, and uh, the other two is genome, genomic data search. Okay. So I don't go into detail, but uh, let me introduce the, what, what is homomorphic encryption. So homomorphism is, is a, a structure preserving map between the two algebraic structures. That's a, Okay, so the, the log is a very good example. For example, G, this is just a number, the G1, uh, log of G1 times G2 is equal to log of G1 plus log of G2. And interestingly, some of the uh, 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 encryption system has this homomorphic property. It means that encrypted M1 plus M2 is equal to uh, doing some algebraic uh, operation between encrypted M1 and encrypted M2. So we use this technique. 
We also developed a uh, uh, privacy preserving beacon search <laughs> inspired by the beacon project. So this actually this is a collaborative study uh, between our institute and the Tohoku Medical Megabank here, Tomo. And uh, Okay, and uh, we also uh, developed a more um, sophisticated searching by using the uh, uh, succinct data structure, by combining the succinct data structure and the homomorphic encryptions. And I don't go <laughs> into detail about the techniques, but the key point is we use the BWT, uh, combined BWT and the homomorphic encryptions. Mm. Um, I'm working on the privacy preserving uh, something <laughs> of these two or three years, and uh, we ex believe that, that these kind of technology can be used to facilitate sharing all biological information across institutional countries. Thank you. Thank you very much.